Good morning. So after a good night's sleep, we have woken up here in the town of Pumakali. And this morning, we're going to take you up the white hill behind us. We're Marianne and Chris. In May 2018, we quit the nine to five, rented our house to travel full time. Wake up, Luke. Due to the pandemic, our attempt to drive around the world has been put on pause. Finding ourselves in Turkey, we are going to show you the best this country has to offer. Woo. So we've arrived at one of the entrances to the park. There are actually a couple of entrances. The one by the main town tends to be the quieter one because all of the tour buses and groups tend to go to the one on top of the hill. But because we are just coming through this pandemic, it's actually really, really quiet at the moment. Possibly the quietest you ever will ever see Pumakali. So you can see the white rock formation on the hill behind us. Actually looks like snow. So uh, let's go and have a look. Okay, so we have entered the park. There's a couple of ticket choices when you come in. There's an 80 Turkish Lira, which gets you to see the pools, the amphitheater, um, or there's a 100 Turkish Lira, which uh, gives you the addition of going into the museum. So as you enter, you take your shoes off. Uh, one, because the floor is wet, and two, it protects the white rocks. And it actually looks like it should be slippy, but when you walk on it, it's not at all. Absolutely fascinating. It looks like you've arrived in the North Pole. Permakali literally translates as the Cotton Castle. It can be seen as far away as 20 kilometers from the big town of Denizli. And from a distance, it does look like a cotton castle. It's located on a steep valley and is more than 100 meters high. It became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1988. Pumakali is actually famous for its mineral-rich thermal terraces. And there's 17 of them! calcium carbonate in the water that gets deposited it starts as a soft jelly and then hardens into a travertine limestone just be aware that some of the stones by the water's edge are actually quite slippery uh, especially if you're walking around with camera gear just be careful and another word of advice is make sure you cover yourself in suntan lotion because the sun is going to reflect off the white rocks and make it even more intense and with the cool water and the wind it's very deceiving these pools are so refreshing to walk through i've read that they go between 30 and 100 degrees centigrade but this one is very cool And there's actually little tadpoles in the water. How amazing is that? Definite place if you want a few Insta photos. 
absolutely stunning. It's amazing that the rock formations actually look like icicles. And with views like that overlooking the, the valley, And for those of you that are feeling a little bit adventurous, they actually do paragliding off the top of the hill behind me. And with views like that, it would definitely be an amazing experience. lovely place and we're actually parked up just behind the water slides there in the campsite that's the campsite we're staying in we actually chose to stay in a campsite because yesterday uh, they did another lockdown we decided that it would be easier and more respectful if we actually stayed in a campsite during the lockdown yesterday rather than doing our normal wild camping but yeah there's plenty of places to wild camp if you do come here and you don't want to stay in a campsite and if you make it to the top, there is actually a nice covered area with a restaurant and seating and uh, you can get into the shade and just cool off because it must be about 35 degrees today. It's very hot and very bright on the eyes, it's isn't it? It's very bright on the eyes. Wear sunglasses and uh, we have to wear masks as well. And uh, with the masks on walking up the hill, it's been very hot and if you're wondering when we talk to the camera we've got the mask off because i try and take it off to talk to the camera and we socially distance we do we but do. the rest of the time uh we've got the mask on so yeah so we're going to just rest up here for a minute and then we're going to go and uh check out there's some ancient ruins here okay there's a cat fight the cat just scared the other cat and no word of a lie it literally ran up the tree if you've ever got any doubt that cats can't climb trees well, that one ran up it faster than you can ever imagine. Probably Good job, <laughs> that is so Look funny, that. look. <laughs> wow. So we've come further right to the top of the hill, just behind the uh, the white terraces that we've walked up and we've come to the ruins of Hierapolis. So it's a Greco-Roman city. It was used in 2 BC as a health spa and people would come here for the healing waters. And in case you're wondering why there's actually a cockerel here, it's because it is the symbol of Ben Isley. And what a mighty fine cockerel it is too. Whoa, it's a hot one. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Oh. It's just so hot. Yeah, it really, really is. Us Brits, we're not used to this heat. Where's the rain? <laughs> and we know it's going to get hotter. I know. We finally made it up to the theatre. Wow. It's definitely worth the effort. Look at this. What a beautiful, beautiful theatre. And they've done so much restoration here. Yeah, the theatre was constructed in the third AD. And uh, it's just, your imagination goes. You can imagine the performances, probably some fightings here with the Romans and uh, absolutely amazing views and all over the town and into the valley beyond. 
definitely worth a walk up here. At the bottom of the hill here is this wonderful park. It's free to get in. There's beautiful geese. You can soak up the atmosphere and you can hire a boat like the guys behind us. It's a pedalo. <laughs> And also in the park here by the lake, they have this wonderful restaurant where you can sit and uh, watch the world go by, feed the geese and uh, just soak up the atmosphere here in Kumakale. just over there across the road and this is our view when we look out of the van in the morning so even though we've walked on it even though we put our, fo our feet in the water from here, it still looks like snow. I can't get over it. My brain is telling me it's snow, but it's 35 degrees plus, and it looks like snow. It really is the most unusual formation I think I have ever seen. It's no wonder why this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It became a World UNESCO Heritage Site. A UNESCO World Heritage Site. Good morning. We've woken up this morning in I read that they go between 30 and 100 degrees Celsius. Degrees? I said degrees. Three, two, one. Oh, you're still there. That's the end of the show. We hope you enjoyed this episode in Pamukkale. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to come on this amazing, amazing, what the hell is amazing? This amazing adventure with us. See you next time.